Welcome back, Officer of the Republic. Is your Coruscant Underworld Police Chief AP Gaines here. And we just got a couple of updates to the free-to-play experience, so I want to touch on some free-to-play farming guide. This is going to be all of the characters that you will need to farm for your free-to-play farming guide. We're going to talk about light side, dark side, hard nodes, cantina farms, all the shipments, fleets, stuff like that. So it should cover everything uh, for about the first year of the game. Uh, if you have progressed past this point, you can go check out my Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes uh, farming guide playlist that has a 0 to 3 million GP. It's not as in-depth and a little bit outdated in a few ways, so this one will be better for you early game players. But if you've surpassed all of the stuff in this video, probably you've been playing about a year, maybe a year and a half, uh, you can move on to uh, that other guide. So really quickly before we jump in it, we're trying to get 5,000 subscribers by the end of May. If that's something you want to be a part of, hit that subscribe button for more of these guides. If that's not something you're interested in, don't worry, it's not a huge deal. Let's hop into it. So here we're going to do this in order top to bottom of characters that you should farm in order. So obviously like you're going to go down here, but some of these won't be open. Like sometimes you'll have a light side open before a dark side. These aren't the order in which you should farm the characters. These are just the order in which you should farm the characters for that specific. So light sides in order, dark sides in order, cantinas in order, cantina stores in order. All of this stuff is going to be in order. So if you're farming up some light side stuff, these are the characters you want to go. You want to go Ahsoka right off the bat. This is what has changed, especially light side, dark side has changed because they have that massive switch. So now we can get a lot of the characters that were already part of our farming guide a little bit sooner. Uh, shout out to Capital Games. Um, before the update, we had the best farming strategy, and Capital Games basically made our farming strategy infinitely better and easier. Uh, so they must have seen the video where I applied for a position at Capital Games. So we go Ahsoka first, Moff Gideon, Dark Trooper, Piet, Grief Karga, and then Django. So the reason I have this in this order is uh, the AP Gains core approved you know, farming guide strategy is we want to get our CLS Rebels, we want to get our Padme, we want to get our Basil Shawn Jedi team, we want to get our Bounty Hunters going on so we can do all of the events, high banners, get into a good guild, all sorts of good stuff. It's been proven if you want to check out the uh, Nikki Biggs account. We have a free-to-play account guide, uh, or sorry, a free-to-play account guide walkthrough playlist on the channel you can check out as well. So this is the order in which you should grab your light side characters, Ahsoka, and then as you can see here, these are kind of new because you couldn't previously get these characters this early on, but since they've changed the meta a little bit, we're going to be grabbing these. You'll see this Empire acquisition early has a little bit of a small ramification down the road uh, if any of you guys are used to the old farming guide. So a little bit of changes here on the light side, and then eventually we wrap up Django in uh, that 8 territory. I think it's like 8E or 8D or something like that. And once we get Django, that's a massive point for our account, so we are going to end up grabbing him. Dark side, we can grab Anakin super early, so we're going to grab Anakin. We're going to get him with seven stars as soon as humanly possible. I do want this to be said. You're going to grab these characters in seven stars before you move on to the next one, by the way. So seven stars, seven stars, seven stars, work your way down. Anakin, we're going to get him seven stars as soon as humanly possible. He's a cornerstone of our Jedi team as well as our Padme team, a very crucial character in the overall uh, strength of this account. Or of this farming guide so you want to give them up seven stars then we're going to talk about in cantina old ben has been added uh, a little bit sooner so we can grab him a little bit earlier this is going to coordinate with our cantina farm of old ben as you see here old ben is second in cantina farm he used to be first but now that you can get him in hard node we're going to go farm boy first over there but i'll talk about that in a little bit later so jedi Knight anakin get him a seven stars this will help your cantina farm of old ben get him a seven stars then once we unlock that basil of sean fall this is a little bit different if you unlock Basil Sean before Old Ben has 7 stars, farm Basil Sean, completely forget about Old Ben in terms of hard node farming, leave him for Cantina, grab your Basil Sean, get her 7 stars as fast as humanly possible. Now, this is where we want to make a decision. If we've powered through these guys, eventually we're going to grab Grief. You can actually eliminate Mando here and go straight for Joe Lee, then stick Mando in, then Basil Sean, then Bosk. Bosk is another caveat. If you unlock the Bosk node before you've completed these, bump Bosk up to the top of that order. So Bosk should be farmed before Mando, before Jolie, before Basil Sean. The problem is we unlock that node a little bit later. So farm these characters up until this is open, pop them to seven stars, then work your way back down here and you'll be in a fantastic spot. So that's the dark side. Cantina. Uh, new change. This used to be our priority number one right off the bat because he's useful for Jedi. We can use him in terms of Rebels for um, Palp. We can use him in terms of Jedi for Yoda, and he goes under the Basil Shan lead as a good tank, has some good viability with his ability to reduce turn meter, do debuffs, and stuff like that. 
But since we can grab him a little bit in hard node to supplement the Cantina farm, we're actually going to go after Farm Boy Luke first, right off the bat. So we're going to grab him up. Then we're going to build up our old Ben. As you can see here, we have a Moff Gideon. This is going to support our Moff Gideon farm over here. So let's say we happen to stray from the path and Moff Gideon's at six stars or whatever. We can use Cantina uh, to boost him back up. And then once we open the node for the Geonosian Brood Alpha, we are going to grab him. Now there will be me uh, a downtime in here. This is where you can make your decision. I talk about this in some of my other guides. You get a leisure team about the time you're between Moff Gideon and um, Brood here. You can use that to farm the characters for Jedi Knight Revan or Darth Revan. Take your pick. The free-to-play account, I have my girlfriend running. Um, she chose the Darth Revan route. It's been working fantastic. She's about to get her Darth Revan um, pretty early on, really fast. Cantina store. Uh, Boba, grab Boba. You should probably be able to get Boba up the fastest to seven stars, which will allow you to do uh, heroic raids and get the raid characters. So if you guys are trying to get into a guild that does the raids, get this Boba up to seven stars super fast. You can participate and get those rewards. Again, Ahsoka here. This will supplement a little bit of her farming over here, which will push her out pretty quickly, allowing us to move down here. So as you can see, these all work hand in hand to be super efficient and get these teams pumped out as soon as possible. And then Stormtrooper Han, um, I've always been pushing CLS as the first legendary you guys should go for. Obviously, Genomaster, uh, Yoda, and um, Palpatine you're going to get earlier, but I don't count those as legendary characters. Um, they're kind of just good characters that happen to be legendaries, quote-unquote. But um, so Capital Games agreed that I had the best strategy, and they moved him over into the Cantina, which is awesome because he was crowding up the Squad Arena store. So grab him after you get these two characters. Squad Arena. We want to actually grab our Moff Tarkin super fast. As you're going to notice here, we're going to have our Dark Trooper. If we move, So we'll have Moff, which is one Empire. We will have our Moff Gideon, which is two. Over here, we'll have our Dark Trooper, which is three. And we probably won't have Piet right away because we have to work our way down. So we'll have three there. Then we will have our Darth Vader, and then we will have our Piet. We'll have our five. We'll be able to get our seven-star um, Palpatine. Once we have our seven-star Palpatine, um, we can use him to unlock R2-D2, but at that point, we're not going to need him. So this is where you can either go um, in terms of Cantina. If you push through here and you don't want to farm your Jedi Knight Revan characters or your Darth Revan characters, you can actually get TIE Pilot, which will allow us a little bit of breathing room so we don't have to go one, two, three plus Tarkin, plus Darth Vader. It's a little bit of a pro strategy if you guys uh, want to hold off on the Jedi Knight Revan and Darth Revan push just to allow you to get that R2-D2 and that CLS a little bit faster over there. Just a little bit of a pro tip. I know some of you guys are more advanced than others, so I want to keep it basic but allow you the opportunity to be advanced. Then we're going to go in here with our Leia, uh, again for CLS. Newt Gunray, this is going to allow us to unlock our Padme Amidala. Then we're going to go Akbar because his ship is going to be the uh, main ship that we're going to use in terms of fleet. And then Kanan just down here because eventually we'll need him um, for Thrawn way down the line. Uh, Galactic War Store, grab Poggle, grab Zeb, and then, well, grab Poggle, the seven stars. Farm up your uh, your Geonosian ships as long as you can. Um, if they're available, get them up to seven stars. Um, supplement it with some uh, Poggle and some Zeb. Zeb, we can get the seven stars super quickly. The only reason he's in here, not for Phoenix viability for Thrawn. He's actually in here to help supplement the rebel grind towards unlocking um, Palpatine. So if you have your Leia, your farm boy, your old Ben, and your Stormtrooper Han at seven stars, good gear, prepared for CLS, and you don't have that R2-D2 that you still need for CLS, you can actually throw a seven star Zeb in there. Terrible gear. I mean, when uh, Nicole did it, uh, she didn't even have him geared up. She was at level one allows you to get that seven star Palpatine to supplement either farming that TIE fighter up to seven stars or waiting for Piet. So another little pro strat if you guys um, have the wherewithal to get that done. Fleet store, basically just these two right here um, and gear. <laughs> if you see Darth Vader, grab him. If you see um, GG, grab him. Grab your uh, Sun Fac. Uh, save all of these, by the way. Save all of these. Grab these two characters. Grab Sun Fac ship and that's it. Once you guys have these both at 7 stars and some fact ship at 7 stars, you can grab Zetas and stuff like that. But as you'll see, the uh, fleet farming guide will have us up to um, up and up to stuff to get our fleet our Zetas early, so we won't have too much of a problem there. Uh, fleet over here, uh, I just have Shakti here because you can't put fleet, you can't put ships in here. Farm Anakin's ETA Starfighter super high, then supplement your Jolie, supplement your Bastila Sean in there. If you're going down the Darth Revan route, grab your Karth. 
obviously there's a little bit of room to mix and match because you guys are either brand new to the game follow this to the t follow the free to play playlist follow follow the swigo guides playlist you'll be set you'll never lose so if you have no idea what's going on in this game just follow this to a t and you'll be perfect 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 if you guys are advanced maybe you've played a little while you're starting over from scratch or you have a good account and you're starting a new uh, free-to-play account just for fun and you want to follow along the best possible free-to-play farming guide uh, there's more advanced tips that I've talked about throughout this video that you guys can implement alright guys as always thanks for watching I love you go 69th precinct leave a comment for the 69th precinct if you're let me know in the comments actually here we go most people don't watch to the end so I like to have a little message at the end you know a little something that I can see so if I go through the comments I can notice who actually took the time to um, to watch the whole video uh, this video should go live on the day after my track meet. So uh, make your prediction. Did I do well? Did I not do well? How's it going? Uh, join the 69th Precinct. Hit that subscribe button. I love you guys. I'll see you later.